сказал. Good morning, dear student. I am the Senate Department of Pediatrics Pediatrics, Gastishiva Elena, and today uh, our first lecture for you, Periods of the Childhood. So, the plan of the lecture you can see. Okay. Uh, pediatrics, the science of healthy and sick child. Uh, pediatrics from Greek, Pidos, child, and Eitrea, treatment, was separated and independent part of the medicine in the middle of the 19th century. The child was long considered a miniature copy of the adult person, and the diseases of children differ nothing from diseases of the adult. There were no rules for child care. Children are being treated according uh, to the same principles as adult. Pediatrics is a science uh, that studies the uh, patterns of the child's development and the rules of his nutrition, the etiology and pathogenesis of childhood diseases, uh, means of their prevention, diagnosis and treatment. Pediatrics from Greek Pidos child, Eitrea treatment, was separated, independent part of the medicine, in the middle of the 19th century. Pediatrics is a science that studies the uh, patterns of a child's development and the rules of his nutrition, the etiology and pathogenesis of childhood diseases, means of their prevention, diagnosis and treatment. Pediatrics medicine period of growth, formation and development of all systems of children's organism, which is the most responsible in human life. Pediatric studies lays of a child's development and rules of his health eating, the causes and mechanism of diseases, and methods of diagnostics, uh, treatment, and ways of their prophylaxis. A basic um, directions of activity of the pediatrician, uh, there are prophylactic work, anti-epidemic work, and medical work. Pediatrics medicine period of growth, formation and development of all systems of children's organism, which is the most responsible in human life. The pediatrician should be a polite, intelligent person. His emotions need to come out in the opposite with logic and hope of scientifically well-grounded um, uh, decisions about sick children. Uh, Khatavitsky in the 1847 wrote that pediatrician should have special relation with children. He should treat to the children with pleasure. Pediatrician should have special relation with children. He should treat to the uh, children with pleasure.
So, periods of childhood. Uh, the reason for the division into age periods is the constant growth, uh, development of the child and the anatomical, physiological, functional and psychological differences in the body in different days, months and years of life. The reasons for the divisions in the age periods is the constant growth, uh, development of the child and the anatomical, physiological, functional and psychological differences in the body in different days, months and years of life. Uh, according to the periods of the childhood, uh, first of all, we should remember about a very important period. It's the intrauterine period, period from the moment of fertilization up until childbirth. And uh, we are saying about embryonic period till uh, 12 weeks of pregnancy and fetus period from the 13 weeks up to the birth. Intrauterine period from the moment of fertilization up until childbirth. Uh, there are embryonic period and fetus period. Uh, embryonic period till uh, 12 weeks of pregnancy and fetus period from uh, 13 weeks up to the birth. Uh, please turn attention in this slide, uh, the uh, different photo uh, according to prenatal development, the growing fetus, uh, fertilization, uh, next slide, next photo, it's the uh, age of uh, 30 hours, uh, next uh, through the six weeks and uh, four months. You should remember about the critical period of the development. Please, uh, the different organs, uh, different uh, system, and different uh, weeks for the organogenesis. And uh, it's a critical period uh, for the development, for, for the organogenesis, for the different, um, uh, different age of the fetus, different development. So embryonic uh, growth phase, uh, embryonic growth phase is characterized by the highest rate of tissue differentiation, is the major feature uh, of organogenesis, formation of almost all internal organs of the future child, and placental growth phase. Uh, we are say about early fetal period uh, till uh, 20 week, uh, eight week and a late fetal period after the 28 weeks before until the child's birth. According to the early fetal period, uh, intensive growth and differentiation of fetal organs and system. The effects of some unfavorable factors uh, do not uh, constitute severe defects. However, they can slow down the development of the organs and tissue differentiation. Uh, late fetal period, uh, pathological factors do not affect uh, the uh, already formed uh, fetal organs, but could cause early uh, deliveries and the birth of premature babies with a low body mass.
and according to the teratogenic factors which can do uh, to the fetus according to the uh, pregnancy, uh, we are say about formation of embryopathy or fetopathy. Uh, what is embryopathy? The vices of development of the organs. A fetopathy is the undevelopment of organs. The common diseases that appear in embryonic period, embryopathy, examples of the embryopathy, uh, they are anencephalia, hydrocephalia, pylorostenosis, congenital malformation of lungs or kidney, congenital heart defects. These are, uh, there are examples of the embryopathy if the teratogenic factors do in the fetus during the first uh, three months or during the first uh, 12 weeks of uh, its pregnancy. Anencephalia, hydrocephalia, pylorostenosis, congenital malformation of lung, kidney, congenital heart defects. Examples of the fetopathy, the common disease that appear in the fetal period. Uh, there are microsomia, uh, decreased uh, sizes of some parts of the body, hypoplasia, organs or system of organs under development, macrosomia, increased size of some parts of body, uh, intrauterine infection, different, different intrauterine infection. And uh, some examples uh, about environmental or teratogenic factors. There are, for example, non adequacy of fetal nutrition, uh, for example, acute diseases and um, reactivation diseases of the mother, uh, mother's heavy physical activity, uh, professional hazards of the mother, alcohol intact uh, on smoking habits of parents, uh, bad socioeconomic condition. It may be different, different how chemical harm, um, physical harm, uh, biological factors, there are all um, um, teratogenic factors. And according to the classification of uh, teratogenic factors, according to the classification in favorable factors, uh, we are, uh, remember about um, uh, three groups. Uh, there are exogenous factors, uh, endogenous factors, and combination of exogenous and endogenous factors. Exogenous factors are physical, uh, there are radiation, for example, magnetic fields, uh, vibration, X-ray, for example, chemical uh, bed ecology, smoke, um, uh, different uh, pharmaceutical medicines, alcohol, and other. Biological, viral, microbe, helminths, uh, and endogenous factors, mutation of genes, uh, chromosomal aberration, uh, number or structure. And in this slide, in this photo, you can see baby with a fetal alcohol syndrome. Uh, in this case, the chemical teratogenic factors, the alcohol too in the fetus uh, uh, during the pregnancy. So, uh, continue about periods of the childhood. Extra uterine period. Uh, extra uterine period 
in the first period of the chart is a neonatal period. Neonatal period the last for the first 28 days of the infant is subdivided into two sub-periods, uh, early first seven days and late from the 8 till uh, 28 days. Uh, early period, the most uh, responsible for the children's adaptation to the extra uterine life. Very, very uh, important period, the most responsible for the children's adaptation to extra uterine life. And the later period, the healthy child during this period is already uh, at their home. So, neonatal period, I repeat, it begins from birth of the baby in last white 28 days. Uh, according to the healthy newborn, in which case we are say about a healthy newborn. Um, it's a child who was born from the mother, who did not have uh, complications during pregnancy and childbirth. Upgar score 8 uh, 10 points. The average weight of the body approximately 3.2 3.6 gram. Uh, normal course of the adaptation period and maximum weight loss not more uh, 6-8% kg is breast fat. In this case, we are say about a healthy uh, newborn. Classification of the neonates uh, by birth weight, uh, by uh, gestational age, and uh, by both gestational age and uh, body weight. According to gestational age, um, we are say about full term infant, pre term infant, and post term infant. Full term infant, an infant born at a gestational age between 37 and 42 completed weeks. Full term infant. An infant born at a gestational age between 37 and 42 completed weeks. Preterm infant, who is preterm infant? An infant uh, that is born prior to 37 weeks or gestational, from the uh, 32 till uh, 37 weeks or a weight greater than um, 5. 100 grams and post term infant and infant that is born after the 42 weeks uh, gestational infant that is born after the 42nd weeks of gestational is a post term infant according the According to gestational age, we are say about the full term infant, pre term infant, and post term infant. So, according to the term baby, uh, at the normal, uh, first of all, we should remember about the functional maturity of term newborn and some parameter uh, you should remember. According to the weight, weight should be more than uh, 2.5 kg and height should be more than 45 SM. Uh, head circumference uh, should be uh, from the 34 till 36 SM. 
chest circumference should be uh, from the 32 till 34 uh, SM. They are average parameters of the physical um, parameter, physical development uh, of the fetus, and uh, we check at a newborn, at a term, uh, newborn baby. At term baby, the heart rate should be more than 100 per minute. More than 100 per minute. Average parameters at the, according to the heart rate are 120, 140 per minute. According to the respiratory rate, respiratory rate should be in the normal in the term baby should be more than 40 per minute. Cry of the neonet is a virus. The normal newborn spend approximately 80% of the time in sleeping. And a term baby term regulation is stable. Heart rate more than 100 per minute, average 120-140. Respiratory rates more than 40, cry of the neonet is the virus. The normal newborn spends 80% of the time in sleeping. Thermoregulation is stable. So, in this slide, please turn attention at the both uh, photos. Uh, from the one side, baby Tom newborn. Uh, from the another side, a pre Tom baby. Please, if you compare with, uh, you can see the difference uh, difference between the uh, Tom uh, between the uh, pre Tom baby. First of all, it's the parameters of the physical development. Uh, it's a proportional between the trunk between the size of the head. The difference uh, at a pre Tom baby, uh, the bigger um, size of the head and the color of the skin different. Uh, the the different developments of cutaneous tissue and the different different parameters reflexes at the preterm baby absence uh, normal uh, reflexes please uh, it's very very interesting uh, photo uh, for you and you can compare uh, the both uh, baby both, both newborn baby. Signs of a compromised newborn. Uh, there are cyanosis, uh, bradycardia, low blood pressure, uh, depressed respiratory effort, and the poor muscle tone. Cyanosis is the blue color of the skin. Bradycardia is a decrease the heart rate less than normal parameters for this uh, age. Low blood pressure, uh, depressed uh, respiratory effort, and poor muscle tone. There are signs of a compromised newborn. Abgar scoring chart. Abgar scoring chart is a spatial chart, spatial scoring chart for the estimation of general condition of newborn baby. Uh, and this uh, chart, uh, we should um, check the five parameters at newborn baby. Their heart rate, their respiratory effort, their muscle tone, uh, reflex irritability, and the color of the skin. 
Uh, we should estimate the general condition uh, of newborn the twice. Uh, first time it's uh, the first minutes after birth, and the second times uh, through the five minutes after birth. And each parameters um, has a different balls from zero till two. Da? Zero it's a minimal, uh, maximum is a two points. For example, if the heart rate it uh, baby at newborn absent, uh, it's uh, zero. Uh, if the less than 100, it's a one balls. Uh, if the heart rate more or more than 100, it's a two balls. A respiratory effort absent zero, uh, slow uh, irregular one pulse, and the good cry is uh, two pulse. Muscle tone, uh, limb zero, some, some flexion one, and active motion two. Uh, reflex irritability, no response zero, grimace uh, one, and the cry two. Color of the skin pale zero, a body pink extremity blue one, and all pink is at two balls. So uh, minimum uh, and the maximum. Uh, and accordingly, we should uh, check all these parameters plus 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 together, and we have the total score. According to the uh, total score, we should make conclusion about the general condition uh, at newborn baby. And we are say um, about the healthy newborn, about the moderately depressed newborn, and about the severely depressed newborn uh, is a, a different result. For example, healthy newborn. Uh, 8 to 10 at birth, first and 5 minutes. Moderately depressed newborn uh, from the 4 till 7 balls. The, this baby need an reanimation and uh, intensive reanimation need a newborn baby who have um, the general uh, balls from the 1 till 3. About neonatal period, uh, it is a transitional period from intrauterine life to extrauterine environment. The important characteristic of this period are intensive development of visual reflexes, the uh, beginning of movement, development, formation of uh, conditional reflexes, Formation of visual and sensational contact with mother. It is a very important period of human life because the changes in the environment during this period are very serious. After birth, the newborn infant is getting adaptation to the condition of the extra uterine existence. It is a transitional period from intrauterine life to extrauterine environment. The important characteristic of this period are intensive development of visual reflexes, the beginning of the movement, development, formation of conditional reflexes, formation of visual and sensational contact with mother. It is a very important period of human life because changes in the environment during this period are very serious. After birth, the newborn infant is getting adaptation to the condition of the extra uterine existence.
transitory state of newborn, transitory of physiological states of newborn. It's absolutely normal uh, states of uh, during the newborn period. Uh, some examples of the transitory states of newborn. First of all, is the first breathing uh, and transitional hyperventilation. Skin is cleared from caseosa and gets a reddish color with a small cyanotic shade in some hours after birth. Its name physiological newborn scatars, physiological erythema. Skin is cleared from caseosa and gets reddish color with a small cyanotic shade in some hours after birth. There are physiological newborn scatars or physiological erythema. It's absolutely normal condition, absolutely normal for this period's uh, condition. And this condition continue approximately during the uh, first, the second, uh, and after uh, third days, uh, usually uh, the color, uh, reddish color, uh, disappear. Next uh, example is the uh, Erythema toxicum neonatorum. It's a very common and completely living condition. It usually arises uh, in the first two days of life. It is seen in about half of healthy newborns and occurs less frequently in preterm infants. And this photo, for example, uh, is uh, uh, examples of the erythema toxicum neonatorum. Erythema toxicum neonatorum. Uh, at another photo, you can see caseosa. At baby face, at baby face, at baby hands. Next examples of the transitory condition, transitory states of newborn, is physiological loss of weight at birth. Uh, babies uh, commonly lose 5-7% of their body weight in the first 2-3 days, uh, 24-48 hours after birth. Uh, this change in weight is due to loss of water during inspiration, uh, gastrointestinal tract, uh, meconium, for example, primary stool, kidney uh, urination first, a uh, little quantity of the mother milk, uh, colostrums, and other. In the normal, uh, the babies commonly lose uh, average 5-7% of body weight in the first two three days after birth. This change in weight is due to loss of water, due to uh, respiration, due to uh, meconium primary stool, due to first um, urination and a little quantity of the mother milk. It's a normal. If the baby lost more than um, uh, um, nine percent, or we are say about pathological condition. Next examples: physiologic jointes, hyperbilirubinemia, physiologic jointes. Increase of bilirubin amount in the serum, uh, it is observed in newborns in associations with physiologic uh, destruction of erythrocytes and bilirubin formation from the allocated hemoglobin of the basis of it. Uh, the important role is played by immaturity of the enzyme system of life. 
Usually, uh, physiologic jointes appear uh, approximately uh, at the end of the second and or third uh, days after birth. Uh, general condition uh, normal, absolutely. Uh, physiological, uh, for example, uh, um, Urination, physiological parameter, uh, um, how, for example, urination, color urination, or color of the stool, absolutely normal. Uh, don't change the color. And uh, I'm uh, turning attention the general condition uh, due to physiological joint is absolutely, absolutely normal. Next example, sex hormonal crisis. Sex hormonal crisis. Uh, physiological mastopatia start in the third uh, fourth days, maximum fix, uh, fix, uh, tenth days. Uh, uh, mastopatia is a caused by sexual hormones of the mother's placenta, which are included in the intrauterine blood circulation and the end of pregnancy. At breast enlargement, uh, you can see how at girls, how at boys. Sex hormonal crisis. Mastopathy is caused by sexual hormones of the mother's placenta, which are included in the intrauterine blood uh, circulation at the end of pregnancy. Pass to the baby and uh, maximum physiological mastopathy start on the third, fourth days after birth, no, maximum uh, five, ten days continue. Transitory features uh, of the uh, function of kidneys. Uh, there are anuria, oliguria, and uric acid infarct. Uh, what is anuria? Anuria is the absence of urination within 12 hours after the birth is shown in most children. It's absolutely normal. Absence of urinations within 12 hours after the birth is shown in most children. Oliguria. Oliguria is a reduction uh, in the amount of urine take place in all newborns in the first three days of life. So, uh, first uh, 12 hours, maybe. Absent uh, urination is uh, normal, uh, is shown in most children, uh, and oliguria. The reduction in the amount of urine takes place in all newborns in the first three hours of life. Oliguria, reduction of the amount of urine. And uric acid infarct is the increased destruction of the cells, basically of the leukocytes, caused by the catabolic character of metabolism in, in the newborn. Is the uh, increased uh, destruction of the cells, basically of the leukocytes, uh, caused by the catabolic character of metabolism in the newborn. And uh, how we appear uh, uric acid infarct. At the newborn baby, at the pampers, uh, the urine, um, the color uh, may be um, brown, orange or brown color. The common diseases that appear in neonatal period. 
uh, which problems uh, the doctor can appear, uh, can can see, can check at neonatal period at baby. Embryopathy, of course. Uh, fetopathy, of course. Uh, birth injuries. Uh, Cephalochematoma, caput capsidatum, uh, the skull fracture, the fracture of clavicle and other uh, facial paralysis, uh, brachial palsy, uh, sequel of intrauterine development disorders, malformation, uh, prematurity, sequel of birth injury. Immunological maternal fetal incompatibility, intrauterine infection diseases, acute diseases, infant death rate is higher. The common diseases that appear in neonatal period. The embryopathy, fetopathy, birth injuries, sequel of intrauterine development disorders, sequel of birth injury, immunologic maternal fetal incompatibility, intrauterine infection diseases, Acute diseases. Infant death rate is higher. Newborn periods needs proper medical observation. Special care, hygienic regime, nutrition that must be adequate to the morphofunctional uh, peculiarities. Newborn period needs proper medical observation, special care, hygienic regime, nutrition uh, that must be adequate to the morphofunctional peculiarities. So, next period of the uh, childhood, breastfeeding or infancy period, breastfeeding or infancy period, period from the 29 day to one year of life. From 28 day, from 29 day to one year of life. The connection between an infant and its mother does not break off completely due to breastfeeding. The infancy period is one of rapid motor, cognitive and social development. From 29 days to 1 year of life is breastfeeding or infancy period. The connection between an infant and its mother does not break off completely due to breastfeeding. The infancy period is one of rapid motor, cognitive and social development. Some words about the characteristic of breastfeeding or infancy period. Intensive physical development. Intensive psychomotor development. Most infants typically move from uh, crawling to running by about 20 months. They use uh, the new uh, mobility to push and pull toys, dance and clean. 
intensive neurophysiological development. During this year, uh, language skills typically progress from uh, granting and pointing to speaking single words and um, experimenting with simple words combinations. Body mass increase by three times, body length is increased by 50%. Fast metabolism. Digestive organs are not maturing. The structural features of the respiratory system narrow the nasal passages, immaturity, isosis. Intensive physical development during the breastfeeding or infancy period. Body mass increased by three times, body length in, in, is increased by 50%. Intensive psychomotor development. Most infants typically move from crawling to running by about uh, 20 months. They use their new mobility to push uh, and pull toys, dance and climbs. Intensive neurophysiological development during this year, uh, language skills typically progress from uh, grunting and pointing to speaking single words and experimenting with simple words combinations. Fast metabolism. Digestive organs are not maturing. The structural features of the respiratory system, for example, narrow the nasal passages, immaturity asthmosis. The characteristic of pathogenical pathological conditions uh, at this period. Diseases uh, rising from defects in nutrition, uh, regime environment, for example, rickets, anemia, hypotrophy, paratrophy. Prophylactic vaccination of infection must be started in the infant period. There is functional immaturity of the digestive system which demands the proper organization of nutrition. Uh, consequence of prenatal pathology, uh, there are encephalopathy, cerebral palsy, congenital malformation, acute diarrhea, possible acute respiratory virus infections. The characteristic of pathogenical conditions. Diseases arising uh, from defects in nutrition, uh, regime, environment. Uh, for example, it's a rickets, deficiency of the of vitamin D, uh, anemia, anemia decrease amount of the erythrocyte, decrease amount of the hemoglobin in the blood. Hypotrophia. Hypotrophia is a deficiency of the body weight at a baby. Paratrophy is the overweight at the baby during the first year. Prophylactic vaccination of infection must be started in the infant period. There is a functional immaturity of the digestive system which demands the proper organization of nutrition. Consequences of a prenatal pathology, encephalopathy, cerebral palsy, congenital malnutrition, possible acute diarrhea, possible acute respiratory virus infection. Because approximately after uh, four six months of life, uh, the mother's antibodies uh, at the baby uh, uh, disappear.
weakening of passive immunity, the development at the uh, second four months of life, so-called transitory or physiological hyperimmunoglobulinemia. Transitory or physiological hyperimmunoglobulinemia. Because the weakening of passive immunity, the development at the second fourth months of life. This is uh, accompanied uh, by a, a decrease in the serum uh, concentration immunoglobulin G and characterized by delayed uh, maturation of humoral and cellular immune factors. This causes a different septic process, otitis, pneumonia, etasa, the tendency to diffuse reactions and uh, inability to limit the process. Weakening of passive immunity, the development at the second fourth months of life, so-called transitory or physiological hyperimmunoglobulinemia. This is accompanied by a decrease in the serum concentration immunomasses immunoglobulin G and characterized by delayed uh, maturation of humoral and cellular immune factors. This causes a different septic process. Otitis, for example, otitis is inflammation process in the ears, pneumonia, it's inflammation uh, process in the lung tissue, the tendency to diffuse reactions and inability to limit the process. So, next period of the childhood, toddler or pre preschool period, from the one to three years of life, toddler or pre preschool period. Uh, the rate of uh, weight gain and body length uh, gradually slows down, but muscle mass is growing. By the age of two, the uh, Eruption of uh, 20 milk teeth is completed. By the end of three years, children speak in a long phrases uh, reason. Increased motor uh, capabilities from walking to running, climbing and jumping, improved coordination of movements. The rate of weight gain and body length gradually slows down, but muscle mass is growing. By the age of two, the eruption of 20 milk teeth is completed. By the end of three years, children speak in long phrases uh, reason. Increased motor capabilities uh, from working to running, climbing and jumping, improved coordination of movements. During this period, hygiene skills are improved. The emotional life of the child uh, reaches the highest uh, degree of manifestation. Individual uh, traits of character and behavior begin to appear. Uh, Arm bringing is the main element 
of caring for a child because the child imitates adults very very interesting and very very important two periods hygiene skills are improved the emotional life of the child reaches the highest degree of manifestation, individual traits of character and behavior begin to appear. Upbringing is the main element of caring for a child because the child imitates adults. Common diseases that appear in toddler or pre-preschool period. There are which problems? Acute children infection, rubella, measles, scarlet fever, pertussis, chicken pox, dysentery, whooping cough. Virus parasites, escaries, uh, lambolysis, hymenalpidosis, trachycephalosis. Aspiration of foreign bodies, accidental poisoning during this period, formation of allergic diseases. So, problems uh, during this period acute children infection, rubella, measles, scarlet fever, chicken pox, pertussis, and other. Virus parasites, escrisis, lambdasis, hymenolipidosis, trichocephalosis, aspiration of foreign bodies, accidental poisoning, formation of allergic diseases during this period. Next period, preschool period, uh, from the uh, third to uh, sixth year of life, uh, after third to six years of life. Uh, some uh, words about the characteristic of this period. Intensive growth. Milk teeth fall out, begins the growth permanent teeth. Mature the immune system. The intellect intensively developed. Memory improves, begin to manifest sex differences in the behavior of boys and girls. And greatest activity belongs to thyroid hormones and growth hormones. Intensive growth and the greatest activity belongs to thyroid hormones and growth hormones. Milk teeth fall out begins the growth permanent teeth. Mature the immune system. The intellect intensively developed. Memory improves and begin to manifest sex differences in the behavior of boys and girls. And the greatest activity belongs to thyroid hormones and growth hormone. Uh, the common diseases that appear in preschool period. Uh, acute, of course, acute children infection, uh, rubella, measles, scarlet fever, pertussis, dysentery. Injury, uh, lack of uh, experience, uh, lack of adult control. Respiratory diseases.
So more often at this period, acute children infections, different infections, and injury, lack of experience, lack of adult control, and respiratory diseases. Next period, junior school period. Junior school period uh, from 6 to uh, 11 years of life. From 6 to 11 years of life. Junior school period. The structural differentiation of tissues is completed. The skeleton of uh, is uh, actively developing, uh, muscle mass is increasing, replacing teeth with permanent ones. By the age of 12, the formation of the nervous system ends and the ability to think abstractly appears. The physiological parameters of the respiratory and cardiovascular systems are similar to those of adults. The functional and adaptive capabilities of the child increase. The cardiac development of the reproductive sphere begins secondary sexual characteristic are formed. So the structural differentiation of tissues is completed. The skeleton is actively developing, muscle mass is increasing, replacing teeth with permanent ones. By the age of 12, the formation of the nervous system ends and the ability to think abstractly appears. The physiological parameters of the respiratory and cardiovascular systems are similar to those of adults. The functional and adaptive capabilities of the child increase. The cardiac development of the reproductive sphere begins. Secondary sexual characteristics are formed. So, the common diseases that appear in junior school period. There are poor posture and vision. Functional disorders of the nervous system, neurosis, neuropathy, scoliosis, diseases of eyesight, obesity, dental caries, respiratory infection, influenza, Childhood infections, mumps, arabella scarlet fever. The most common pathology at this age is diseases of the digestive system. Gastritis, gastrodenitis, common cardiac diseases, and allergic diseases. So, common diseases that appear in junior school period. Poor posture and vision. Scoliosis, diseases of eyesight, functional disorder or disorders of nervous systems, neurosis, neuropathy, obesity, dental caries, respiratory infections, influenza, childhood infections, mumps, rubella, scarlet fever. 
most common pathology of this age is the diseases of digestive system, cardiac system, and allergic diseases. So, uh, next period, senior school age adolescence. Senior school age adolescence, we say about teenager years and uh, young, uh, youth or juvenile. Uh, teenage years, uh, at difference at girls and the boys. At girls uh, from the 12 till 15 years old, uh, for the boys from the 13 till 16 years of the old. The years of June, juvenile, uh, for the girls from the 6 till, till uh, 20 years old, uh, for the boys from the 17 till 21 years old. Teenager and the years of juvenile. Different both periods, half for the boys, half for the girls. About uh, characteristic of adolescence, the period of sex maturity. Period of sex maturity, this period, like the newborn or infant's period, it is the stage of development when children are very sensitive to a harmful environment. It is a period within which the organism starts to have new physiological changes and a lot of organs and system rearrange uh, their activity. Is a result of this uh, rearrangement the child's organism that turns into the adult's one. Emotional and physiological maturation, change in the function of the endocrine glands, growth increase. Very, very interesting and very, very important two periods. The period of sex maturity, like the newborn or infant periods, is a stage of development when children are very sensitive to a harmful environment. It is a period within which the organism starts to have new physiological changes and a lot of organs and systems rearrange their activity. Is the result of this rearrangement the child's organism that turns into adult's one? Emotional and physiological maturation, change in the function of the endocrine glands and growth increase during this period. According to the problems, according to the pathology uh, at adolescence, the pathology of puberty includes two groups of diseases, is typical or only for this period. Uh, pathology conditions of sexual and endocrine systems causing significant disorders of puberty. Uh, precocious puberty, delayed puberty, disorders of sexual differentiation, intersexualism, uh, and the false hermaphroditism, homosexuality, transsexualism, and other sexual psychopathology. Chlorosis of young girls, juvenile masturbatia, and the second group of diseases of the puberty period includes the virus disease, virus diseases, which can take place at any age. However, these have clinical peculiarities during the puberty period. Tuberculosis, for example, rheumatic fever. So, the pathology of puberty includes Two groups of diseases is typical only for this period. Uh, it's a pathological condition of the sexual and endocrine system, uh, causing significant disorders of puberty, uh, 
causes puberty delayed puberty disorders of sexual differentiation. And the second group of diseases of the puberty period includes the viruses diseases which can take place at any age. However, these have clinical peculiarities during the puberty period. Clinical, clinical uh, peculiarities. And examples, dysfunction of the nerve systems, dysfunction of the cardiovascular system, dysfunction of the digestive system, endocrine system, chronic heart diseases, myocarditis, chronic kidney diseases, pyelonephritis, glomerulonephritis. Dysfunction of the nervous systems, dysfunction of the cardiovascular system, dysfunction of the digestive system, dysfunction of the endocrine system, chronic heart diseases, chronic kidney diseases. And uh, I uh, want to turn attention about the children's health. Ch child health uh, includes the physical, mental, and social well-being too. Each year, more than 10 million children under the age of five die. At least 6.6 million children death can be prevented each year if affordable health interventions and made available to the mothers and children who need them. It's uh, children's health. Huh? Child, child's health includes physical, mental and social well-being too. And children health is uh, antenatal care, it's uh, delivery care, it's uh, postnatal care, it's a childhood vaccination, it's a childhood illnesses, and access to health care. Antenatal care, delivery care, postnatal care, childhood vaccination, childhood illnesses and access to health care. So, my lecture is over. Thanks for attention. Uh, goodbye.